If you are a young man between 16 and 25 years old and you don't like your job or you have no job, you need to listen to this. If you like playing Minecraft, I personally believe that selling something called Minecraft plugins might be the best option for you. In fact, I spent over one year living off of just Minecraft plugins and I was making over 3000 euros on that. This is not some crazy result. I'm not going to flash any Lamborghinis. You're not going to be able to afford anything major, but I think that 3000 euros, which is about three and a half thousand dollars a month where I was spending just about 20 to 40 minutes a day, a day managing these plugins can be the best start of your career. I don't want to sound cocky. I've never had a normal job. I've never had a boss. I've never had to wake up after I dropped out of university because I just live off of, off of Minecraft plugins. I literally never had to wake up and go to a job that I hated. And I honestly think if you are some between 18 years old and 20 or are you in your eight, earlier 20s and you go to McDonald's and you wonder what the hell you're doing with your fucking life, you're stupid. Because honestly, there is just so much more that you can do. And I don't want to seem angry, but I'm a bit frustrated with the level of bullshit that's out there, with the level of crap and with the level of fake, fake information out there that's being laid out. And I don't just don't want to lure you into purchasing any $5,000 course on how to make money. I don't have a $5,000 course on how to make money. My course costs $200. In fact, we're selling for $97 and it contains a full week on how to do micro plugin selling and how to code in Java and everything. This video is not to sell my course. I just wanted to make this video to tell you that I started, I didn't have a single course, and I do believe that you can get there without purchasing any course either, okay? Uh, there is, of course, the option, but this video is not about that. I just want to share my journey, period. So when I was 20-something, I guess I was 21, I reached the pinnacle of the, this Minecraft stuff. And I was doing about three to three and a half thousand euros a month. I guess I can just show this to you. So this is the payroll portal, and this is basically 2020 January to 2020 December. And you can see that we were selling stuff for just $9. These are digital products, and I'll get to what that is in a second. So, you know, on a given day, okay, it was Christmas, so we, we were making a little bit more. So let me scroll. Let me just keep scrolling. Let me go to, say, April, right? And you're going to do the numbers, April 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sales. Say the average was 15, so 15 times 5, that is $75 or euros a month. That is about 80 U times 30, that's $2,400, right? Not any extreme result. I want to keep this video very humble. But if you don't have any better opportunity or you are not making six figures a month, I honestly think that technology, especially coding these apps, can be the best option for you. So what is a Minecraft plugin, right? What is a Minecraft plugin? Obviously, I expect you to have basic level of knowledge when it comes to Minecraft. What is Minecraft? Simple, it is a video game. What is a plugin? It lets you install itself into a server. For example, I have my testing servers right here, my Academy test server. So this is a folder in which I can install different software so that when players join my server, each plugin can add new features onto it, right? I think I can just skip this because most people finding my channel, finding my channel will know about plugins already. And there is a bunch of marketplaces. I do recommend you start off at spigotmc.org. Okay, uh, we're not selling there. We, we got banned because I was advertising my online classes. I, I was just promoting the crap out of what I wanted to promote. And so we just got banned. So this is the first place where I would go. Most people go there. Now we're selling at a site called Build by Bit. I personally like it more. I think the people are way, way, way nicer. And we haven't received any major dip in sales since moving there. But I have to do a full disclosure. Uh, I'm not making my primary income from plugins nowadays. It's been many years. I've actually sold plugins since 2015, I believe. So it's been many years. And uh, that's why I'm talking about 2019, 2017 to 2020, where I was more engaged with plugins. The reason we still keep plugins is for the trust and for customer relations, re relationship, because someone's going to see that we have plugins, that they have good reviews, people are happy with them, and then they're going to see that we have coaching and courses, and they're going to make a connection. Probably the courses are good if the plugins are good, you see? So that's why we keep plugins. I'm just going to be very honest with you. So, for example, plugin called Chat Control, very basic plugin, filters your chat. If someone types in a fuck, okay, it can kick you out, or it can simply replace it into banana that simple 
right? Of course, there is way more than that, but that is how it works. Uh, I think I'd, I invite you guys to simply go check to check on the site. Opening the account is completely for free, and you can submit your plugin the same week as you registered. And they handle the payments for you. Now, pretty much everything is automatic. Now, question is how do you, how do you actually decide what sort of plugin to sell, and what do you need before you create a plugin? Before you make a plugin, you need to understand Java, and you need to, you need to roughly know about something called Spigot and Pipe Paper and Bucket API. This is a library on which the Minecraft server runs. Minecraft server is made in Java, and Spigot simply adds the ability to the native Minecraft server to have plugins. If you've never coded anything in Java, there is of course the option. We have an online class just devoted to teaching you Java plus Minecraft plugins. Plus again, there's a whole week. There's almost eight hours of footage just on how to sell plugins, how to pick an edge, how to do an analysis, how to do your sales copy, how to charge, set a good price, how to manage customers, even legal setups and taxes. There's a lot of stuff, but when I started back then, I just learned for free. Okay, the way that I started is just bought a bunch of books, actually signed up for a college, which I dropped after four months because I discovered it's crap. No offense, but for me it was crap. Maybe you find it different. And that's that's how I started. But when I started, I also did something called just copy the code without paying any attention to any licenses because I'm from, I come from Slovakia. Slovakia is a very poor country, considerably poor. Um, and we just don't care that much about the whole license licenses stuff especially 10, 10 years ago when i started so you know i did a lot of things that i shouldn't i don't advocate you do this but what i did i just looked at other plugin source codes and since java is fairly easy to understand it, it is in english you will be able to start figuring out things sorta kinda that's what that's why i made the class so it doesn't take you two years like i like it took me and i was making shitty plugins it only takes you a few weeks but you can start there you can start replicating what i did for free chances are you're going to get the same result if you put in the work obviously and then once you know how to code in java once you understand the api a little bit you can go on this site and you can go open up plugins and you can see the competition isn't that big it's just three thousand plugins compared to google app store if you want to make phone apps right there is millions and millions of crap and you can go down here into this right section, sort by top purchases, bait, price range. I'm going to go over $9. I do recommend, guys, you set your price. You start selling your, your plugin for $9.97 and you build it up to maximum $30 or even $50. So between, I would say we're selling our plugins between uh, 19 and 29 euros, which is about the same in dollars nowadays. And I do recommend you hover your prices around there. But of course, you can experiment, do whatever you want to. The most important thing, the most important thing is you have an Excel spreadsheet. So when you start selling, you're going to want to have a column for date. You're going to want to have a column for the amount of purchases and then the cash flow. And then you want to log your changes, change log. Right, so you want to have four columns, and you want to do this religiously every single day. And if you update, if you change something on the sales page, the change log is supposed to have the image of what you've changed with the old image. So you're gonna take an image before you make the change, then you're going to open up Photoshop or Canva, and you're going to com compare these two images, and then you're gonna upload it to Image Your. Okay, place your image here. You can upload it. You're gonna get a link. To that image and you're gonna place it the link you're gonna place in the change like because i want you guys to understand it i want you guys to be a little bit scientific about why your plugin is selling why your plugin is not selling the reason 99 percent of i don't want to say losers but people who never make a sale is that their plugin is crap and they don't know why it's crap the reason it's crap the reason is you don't know why it's crap is that you don't track it you need to track it so very basic excel spreadsheet make that thank me later it can literally save your life because you don't have to work a shitty McDonald's job and you can make more money. And as I said, after you release your plugin, the, the job is just to keep answering questions, keep pushing small updates, and you can literally minimize it to just half an hour, one hour a day. Okay, maybe of course it's gonna be more when you're starting off, but when it, you know, once you hit the momentum, you can just scale it down. So that's how you do it. So in terms of finding the right ideas, what I would do, I would open up a Word document and I would just start categorizing plugins. Okay, for example, there is a category called anti-cheat. And I, I would just go and type in the number of plugins in that category that are within, say, the first five pages. So the first page, it has how many? 
anti-packet exploit, right? That one is one. Matrix anti-cheat, that one is two. That one, the third one is anti-cheat 6.0 beta. The fourth one, confiscate. And that's it. So it has four. So first one is four. And you're just gonna, you know, you're just gonna sum it up. First five pages. Then there is, I don't know, custom items plugin. Then there is UHC. So you're just gonna look at categories. And this is gonna give you an idea of the top five plugin pages that contain basically the top five categories. And you're gonna pick one. You're gonna pick one that you have a relationship to. So if you hate making anti cheat plugins and you think it's too difficult, don't make it a fucking anti-cheat plugin because it's going to suck. It's not going to be good. And sorry for cursing here. I just wanted to make a stronger point. So if that's not you, no worries. You can move on. Okay. You can pick up something else. I personally like to create plugins that are easy. But why should I make a plugin that's complicated? My plugins are re retardedly easy. I make a plugin called Confiscate, which simply puts items such as diamonds, if there are over certain limits, into the chest. My plugin chat control, very easy indeed. It just filter, filter, filters the chat. My plugin balls simply spawn zombies and it makes them a little bit customized using menus. Very easy. I would say anybody can do this. There's a bunch of free plugins that do the same. Basically, what we did, what is custom, what is selling is basically the fact that it is extremely easy for the average Joe to use. If you've never used any custom energy plugins, uh, all of the other plugins are very complicated. We just cut it down, bare bottom, and we made it beginner friendly. Core Arena, basic minigame plugin. You get locked in an arena, you fight monsters. This is another one of my plugins. And the reason that I pay, uh, the reason that these are on the top is not that these are the best. I'm not the king of Minecraft plugins. Okay, I never claim to be, but I simply pay for ads. And when it comes to ads, you can use them to boost your sales. So if you go to buildbybit.com slash ads advertising, you go to your ads, then you're going to see, you can create a new ad right here for your plugin. And some of these ads are ridiculously cheap. So for example, what I'm paying for chat control. Okay. I'm just paying $15 uh, per week, $15 a week. So if the plugin costs twice that, twice that much, that means that one purchase, just one purchase is two weeks. So two, two people, if they're going to buy my monthly ads are covered. Very, very cheap ads. I do recommend you have at least one plugin here. Obviously, if everybody follows the advice, uh, you can see that Build by Bit is a, quite a small site. It only has six slots. Uh, and the reason I'm saying is that I know 99% of people haven't even watched this video to this point. They have quit. And 99% of you guys, let's be honest, you're not going to make a plugin and you're not going to put it here. And that's why the, the ads are so cheap. If everybody would follow this advice, the prices would go through the roof and I would be paying $200 for a plugin because the competition would be so high. The competition is practically non-existent if you know what you're doing. So again, this is what I do. Um, if you if you want to learn how to do this very, very quickly, this course, $97, it's not a $2,000 course. Are you insane, right? And it's going to basically teach you the same as $2,000 courses for very much cheaper. You can do it for free. You don't have to sign up for anything. Okay. You can just start a job out and then you can just type in how to code micro plugins and you can do it for free. I did it for free. I didn't take any course. I'm just saying we can help you get it faster. I do believe this is a true opportunity because this code right here. So this code right here is directly taken from my plugin. This is a real code. If you ever want to get a real job and do a real work, this is not some scammy business opportunity. You'll actually be coding and you can go and apply for a job and you can send them the source code. They're going to be like, holy shit, this guy's good, right? Obviously, I'm not saying that this code is good. It's just my code. Your code can be better, but this is real code, real IT skill. I think learning Java is a real hard IT skill. Java has been here for the last 30 years. It's going to stay here for the next 30 years, at least, I think. And you're going to learn so much. I got people that got jobs in cybersecurity, in a Bitcoin, in a blockchain development, in banking. I got a guy that is in banking, the Bank of, I think, America or something. I got a guy that is working internationally for like a, a Dutch firm. I got guys that are working for German firms, right? And these firms are paying way more than one or two, two, three K a month. But this is a really good first stepping stone. And if you have that, doors will open and then you can seek any worthwhile opportunity. So again, guys, this is it for me. This is how I made plugins. I lived off of just plugins for about a year. I think I mentioned that. If not, uh, just believe in yourself, believe that this is possible. But hard work is required and it's not going to be easy, but it is possible. I, I think it's definitely better than working a shitty job that you hate. Take care. Cheers. And I'll see you guys in the next video.